ingredients. Um, the only thing is, is the ingredients that you will have to go and get. But if you get in HelloFresh, they'll send it in a box for you, so you don't have to go out to the supermarket and buy all the ingredients. They'll send you the the portion size, everything for the meal. If you want forty dollars off, there's a link in my link tree, and if you want twenty pounds off in the UK, you can get some discount that way as well. So if you want to give it a try, three meals for two, um, check it out, and you can try. You could be having this recipe next week or whenever. When I think it's like. Once you sign up, make sure you've not had HelloFresh before and uh, you can give it a try. So what we're going to need for this recipe then is you actually need some egg noodles, but I have just normal noodles that I'm going to use. So these are the noodles that I'm going to use, just normal noodles from a, from a, a bag that you can get from your supermarket. Okay. Um, you're also going to need um, some diced chicken. So I'm going to dice this up shortly. So here I've got some, well, the one thing I always forget to do whenever I buy packs of chicken thighs, although preferably have chicken breast, because um, even though it's cheaper, it's chicken thigh fillets. Um, if you buy chicken breast, it's actually, um, it's better for you to have chicken breast than chicken thighs, just so you know. But the one thing I always forget to do is take them out individually when I buy these. So individually put like three in a bag, put it in your freezer, and that way you're not having to take the whole lot out and having to use all the chicken. But it's still cheap as chicken thighs, especially over here anyway. So um, if you've got recipes that you're going to make, I'm going to have to find other recipes now to use this chicken thigh. Otherwise, um, it'll just go off really quickly and I can't refreeze it. OK, um, so you're also going to need some plums. So I've got some plums here and I've also got, I've got a special gadget that I'm going to show you in a second, which you all know I have. Um, which I'm going to show you. You're going to need some um, pap choy, or what's also known as bok choy. I don't know the difference between the two, but they always look the same. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's where the where it's from. These are actually grown in Lancashire. Can you believe that? So these are actually grown in in uh, in Lancashire, which is not far away from here. Uh, and then you're going to need some spring onions. Again, I'm going to be using a gadget for these spring onions. So you're going to see um, a little bit of a change in the cooking that I do, even different ways. Uh, hey, Tony, good to see you. I'm making you hungry, am I? Um, hopefully I make you hungry. That's that's the whole idea of my broadcast. You're going to need some garlic. So we've got some nice whole garlic here. Um, OK, you're going to need some chilli. If you've got chilies, use some chilies. But instead, I'm going to use just chilli powder. So let me just grab that out of my cupboard because I forgot to take it out. One second. So if you wonder where I've been for the last week, I've not been on this week cooking because I've been um, staying in a caravan this last week. And I was going to come live. I did two meals in the caravan. The problem was I couldn't get a signal. So there was, it was really bad connectivity in the caravan. Um, I'm just trying to find my chilli powder. I always put it in place. It's right at the top right at the top so let me just move this out of the way so that's why i've not been online so um not skegness now is in a place called primrose valley it's in between uh, scarborough and bridlington it's in a place called filey which a lot of people might know about um small place is filey but it's 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 sort of i feel like it's stuck in the past is filey it's a bit you know, it's, it's, they need a bit of investment in the in the town. It's a nice place to visit, nice beach, um, but I think they need a little bit of investment in Filey. But it's a nice place to stay, but it's very quiet. Uh, anyway, so that's your chilli powder that I'm going to use instead of chilies, And then we're going to need some ginger. If you've got ginger, use ginger. I'm going to use this. This is ginger puree, and I just find it, it keeps longer in a squeezy tub, you know, in a squeezy thing. So I'm going to use that and then we're going to use some hoisin sauce. Oh, there's my hoisin sauce. So this is uh, Sharwood's hoisin sauce. So I'm just going to mix it up because sometimes if you've had it in your fridge a while, they do say once you've opened it, you need to use it within, I think, three weeks, maybe. Is it three weeks, four weeks? Um, I can tell you that this has been in my fridge a while, but it's fine. It's not going to kill me. Let's just have a look what it says on here. Oh, it says use within seven days once it's open. but don't throw away stuff if you think it's fine. That's perfectly fine. I think it means by people who've opened it and then they leave it out unopened 
for days and it's like you know so that's the problem with um, people so you, as long as it's in a fridge you know and closed you can keep it for probably to a couple of weeks so um, but just you know smell it taste it before you use it you don't want to be putting something in your food that's going to destroy the meal but a lot of people throw away stuff when you don't need to throw away stuff like i had some strawberries yesterday and the date on it was the 13th of october and they were perfectly fine and i found they were they were more juicy but a lot of people will throw that away so always look at best before dates compared to use by dates so well, that's probably why it's got so much sugar in there it's keeping that flavor um especially yeah strawberries they've got sugar in it's the sugar that's keeping the shelf you know the dates it's keeping it fresh longer as long as it's in a fridge okay hi melanie back on again um and you need some hoisin sauce said that yeah ketchup mayonnaise right we're going to make some ketchup mayonnaise i'm going to show you how to make that uh it's really simple brown sugar soy sauce and um, usually put a bit of hoisin in there as well. So I'm gonna, we're gonna be making that. And then finally, you want some salted peanuts on the top. So this is one of my favorite dishes. I love this dish. And if you didn't know, when I was in Filey at the weekend, uh, last week, it was the strangest thing, right? It was, I went to the charity shop. And I don't, but because I've not been able to, that's weird, I can hear myself. Can you hear that? Are we back on now? I don't know what happened then, that was very strange, because I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Are we back on? Can you hear me? I just heard myself. Right, Um, went to a charity shop and was looking for a book, you know, like, you like, or like a DVD or something. And then I went to the section that has all the kitchen stuff and all the ornaments and the bric-a-brac and stuff. And look what I found. I couldn't believe it. My mouth, my mouth just dropped. I was like, and I looked on the side and look what it says, Pampered Chef. Is, is the picture clear now, Melanie? Is it is okay? I couldn't, I just, I was, I just saw it at the corner of my eye and it was like, one minute i recognized that and i went over and and then looked at the price and i thought it was going to be like 20 pounds 15 pounds 10 pounds five pounds two pounds two pounds this this is what alexis uses pampered chef now it is a lot worth it's worth a lot more than two pounds i can tell you that they are the blades <laughs> i couldn't believe it i've used this a few times now, there's a few things you can't use for it. You can't use potatoes, although I saw a video online that, that somebody cut the potato in half and then put it through the potato. Now, I'm not going to even chance that because I don't. I, you can't get these. You can get them online, but the, the minimum one I saw was, I think it was like £5 plus shipping. It was the shipping that cost the most. So, yeah, it was in a charity shop, Onion. It was in a charity shop. Of all the place, I mean, in a, in a place where I'd gone to for holiday, it was that was like me buying a lottery ticket and winning a million pounds, I'd, because you can't get these in this country. So somebody must have ordered this from America, bought it, and then they may have passed on or the, they've sent the, some of the stuff to the charity shop. I have no idea the story behind this, but this has come from America because they don't sell them here. Oh, if they've got the comfort, it's come from France, maybe I don't know. But somebody's ordered this, and it's or they've brought it back to the UK because when the Pamper Chef was in the UK, that was over twenty years ago. This so it has a story, but it it made its way to me. So if there's anything in life that you ever want, ask the universe. Constantly think about it, and for some reason, it'll just turn up out. I just I couldn't believe it. I'm like, I was like, oh, my God. So we're going to use that for spring onions, okay? And we're also going to use it for the plums. So we're going to cut these up. So let's get started. Let's get started. So I just yeah, I couldn't believe it. How's the signal, guys, now, anyways? Okay, guys. So first thing we're going to do, then, is we're going to bring a saucepan of water to the boil. It said, oh, that's for the, if you're using egg noodles. You're going to boil your egg noodles for four minutes. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to put my noodles into the pan. Okay, so we're going to fry some chicken. 
Yeah, so I put back up the link. That's just so weird that I've even got this in my hands. I just can't get over it. So I'm going to swing you down, okay, so you can see what I'm doing. I've had to put my shorts on because it's got very, very humid. Very, very humid. Can you all see that, guys? You can all see my chopping board. So we need, we need 280 grams of diced chicken. So what I do is I've got a small chopping board here, and I've got a large cho chopping board. And then I've got another chopping board underneath. And the reason I do that is so I can do the meat on here if I need to chop anything up. Take that off and then use the other board for, for other things, okay? So let's get some weighing scales, first of all. I'm going to weigh my chicken. I bet you've all missed me, haven't you? <laughs> you've all missed I know Jay's missed me because he said earlier today, he went, he said, when are you back live again? He said, I've missed, we've missed you. So let's get a plate. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop this into my, into there. Just press the on button. And I'm just going to weigh this out. So I need 280. So that's one, that's two, three, four. You look like a Blu-ray movie, do I? Is it really clear? It's because I've got wi I've got internet now. I have broadband. So I think that's quite a lot, 280. Saying that though, I've got that can't right. Hmm. Just looking at here, that can't be right. I'll dice it up and then I'll put it into the into here. So I should have put it on a plate really. I'm just gonna put it back into my uh... I feel that's quite a lot. What I'll do is dice it up, put it back on there, check it's level. Ah, I don't think it was on straight, that's why. Try it again. Hi, Anne, good to see you. So let's chop this up then. Let's uh, get some scissors. Um, where are my scissors? <laughs> I'm losing everything. Let's ah, wash my hands because I've just put some chicken. So we're just cutting up some chicken thighs and then I'm going to show you the, the Pampered Chef slicer. So let's get these scissors. Give me a minute. So we're going to cut these up. So we need some diced chicken. I should have done this before I came live, but um, I've just actually come live on YouTube. Well, I came live from through Hats and we did an American quiz and we did a bit of a there's like an invite party, so you click on the link and you can come and take part in the quiz. We will definitely do that again, I promise you. Because there was a few little technical issues, wasn't there, with the links. The links do appear, but you have to be on desktop so they're clickable. So what I'll probably do next time is send it out through the... There's a, we have like a little foodie group. So, but the link's always on there, so you can always join. So I'm just cutting up these chicken thighs. See, that's better. It's coming up to 150 now. So I don't know why that was. Maybe the maybe the scale wasn't. I don't think the scale was on properly, and that's why. That's why it wasn't working very well. So I'm just going to cut these chicken thighs up. I need 280 grams. I noticed, Melly, I saw that message come through and I didn't have time to, to let you know about it. So, yeah, Halloween, Hat Saturday, don't, don't forget, 30th of October. There's still a few spaces if you want to come live cooking. I'm going to show you what I'm going to make, actually, in a second, just once I've got my uh, chicken cut up. I bought it today. I think that's enough chicken, actually. Yeah, 200. Oh, my God, I couldn't have got that any more perfect. 280 grams. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. I'll show you what I'm doing on Hatch Saturday. Look, are you ready? This is, what, this is what I got. So I've got this one. Are you ready? This one. These biscuit, these are what they're called, Biscuit Beast Mini Cupcake Kit. So I've got that one. 
And then the other one is this. These are spooky donut mix. Spooky donut mix. And it's got everything inside the box. Well, you need to just obviously add the extras. So butter, oil and water. So we're going to be making some spooky donuts. And then, as I say, we've got the uh, the mini cupcakes as well. But it costs you a fortune for food colouring and everything. So when I saw it in the box, I thought, yeah, that'll do me. So that was only £1.50, I think, from Aldi. And this was £1.50 from Home Bargains. So go to Home Bargains, Melanie, or anyone else in the UK, and you'll get these really cheap. So looks like Cookie Monster from Carter. It does do now. Could it does do now, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, so there's the chicken. So we've got some diced chicken. Let me just wipe this down a second because where the chicken's gone into there. Then I'll spin you around and we shall get cooking. Now, get rid of these tea towels. Yeah, so what we're going to do then is heat a drizzle of oil in a large frying pan. There's the frying pan. Seems so weird cooking again because last week I, I did cook a few times, but I didn't cook every day. So it's nice to be uh, nice to be back cooking. So I'll bring you forward a bit. I'm going to heat this up. I actually have something else that I'm going to use today. Let me just go and grab it. Okay, so this is what we're going to use today. We're using light spray. So I had to get some of this for the caravan because we didn't have any oil. I didn't want to be carrying loads of oil around. So this is just sunflower oil and it's a cooking spray and you just spray it onto your pans. So we're just going to spray this on just like that. So it's one calorie per spray. We're just going to heat that up. Okay. Am I happy to be home? I am, Dina, yes. It was just so nice to be in my own bed. I'm not saying the bed wasn't comfortable, but the in the caravan, the room that I was staying in had two single beds. So I pushed two of the single beds together and put like a, a duvet, uh, put a cover duvet underneath on the, on, over the top to stop me from falling in between the cracks. So it was, it was, yeah, I could spread out, but it's the mattress was different to my own bed. So obviously you're used to that. So. That can't be healthy. It's a lot healthier than if I was using this, because <laughs> you know how much oil I put into uh, into my pan. So you don't need loads of in the in the pan, but you want to be able to cook the chicken. So, so we're going to start off then uh, heating the oil in a large frying pan or on a wok. When hot, we're going to add the diced chicken thighs and then season with salt and pepper. Fry for four to five minutes. Okay. So that's just getting hot. Just gonna give it a minute or so. And then we shall use, I'm gonna show you how to use the dicer. I can't wait to use it. Okay, so let's pop this in then. Get a spoon or something. I'm just gonna add it to the pan, just like that. Dice chicken thighs. Okay, that will start to cook in just a second. Okay. Add some salt and pepper and if you're still here I saw you watch I saw you cooking with Gemma you know the the curry that you made it looked really nice add some salt okay so I'm just gonna spin you back around a second so we're gonna use this is apparently how to do the This is the dicer. So we've got our blades. Um, we're going to use it for scallions. How many of these do I need? So I need, well it says trim the spring onion to thin slices. So I'm still going to have to take off the ends. Let me just cut these off a second. Get my knife. I only need Let's 
just going to slightly chop these off. So they're quite big, I still need to cut these in half. So <laughs> Sometimes it's just easy to use a knife, but they're the leaf part. And I'm just going to show you how to use it. Get rid of these ends. So we've got our base and then we're going to just put them on there and then all you do is cut, cut down like this. I think that's right. I'm going to rock it from side to side and there we go. We have our diced onion much quicker than using that other small thing. <laughs> You've seen Alexis use it, I know. Well, I couldn't believe it when I saw it in the shop. I couldn't believe my eyes. Oh. So just drop that on. Blades are really sharp. Then you can just line them up and cut through. So the chicken's cooking. There we go. You've got to be so careful though with the blades. Right. right some of it's stuck in between, but let's just get a knife and take these out. <laughs> Push them through. But that was so quick, wasn't it? And I think some of them, they fall out of the bottom. So you can just take that off. There you go, look. Perfect. Right, let's do the plums next. So that's the, uh, let's pop them on a plate like that. So that's our nice diced onions. Next thing we're going to, oh, I've got the leaves to do here. So we've got to do this again. So line up your leaves. Just like that. So I'll do it that way. And then all we do is rock it to the side. Perfect. And the leaves on. I'll just lift this up. Actually. Give it a shake. Is there anything about some of the some of them? They just stick to the bottom, but it just saves so much time. And they're all even. That's it. Some of them have fallen down the side, but. Still quicker than I've been to uh, do it by hand and cut everything up. I suppose it'll take practice to use. Yeah, some of them are falling to the side. I guess you just have to make sure it's all centered. Or oh, don't put too much in. Okay, sorry everyone. Oh, no worries, and no worries. Thanks for coming in. Take this out. Sorry about this. You want to see the cooking, not me taking spring onions out. That's the only thing about it, but I guess practice. Right, put them to one side. Chicken's cooking nicely. Right, it says four to five minutes for the chicken. Some of these. Turn these over. You will see that I'll get all right, guys.
Right, so let's do this, finish this little part off. Put them on. So good. So you can use it for other things. I think you can use it for eggs, pineapple, strawberries. Um, I'm going to use these for, well these have got plum, these have got things in here so I won't be able to use it for plum until I cut it in half. So. Oh we need it for bok choy as well. I don't know if it will cut, up, cut up the bok choy. Got leaves on it, so we're gonna cut off the root just like this. And then I guess you can just pop this on here and slice this up. It's normal I cut these individually and we just line this up. Make a little wedge. Wow, look how easy that is to cut up. Oh. I'm blown away already. It's so neat. Can't believe how easy it is. Make sure the blade's all the way down so I don't cut myself. Isn't it good? Take this out a second. Got the leaf part, you see. Got some to get it off. There we go. Put the leaves in. Wow. I guess it'll just take a bit of practice, you see, first. It's so good. Just got to be so careful because them blades are really sharp. Right. That's the chicken. Yeah, I'll get used to it. So that's the bok choy. Look, look how, look how nicely sliced they are. <laughs> I think the thing is, like, a lot of people are saying, right, I don't need one of them or why would I need one of them? But then when you think about everything that you cook on a daily basis, I actually need to do, oh no, just one, just one I need to cook. Right, let me just move that out of the way. So once this is brown, it says, um, lower the heat to medium and add the plums to the pan. Oops, so I need to do the plums first. I'm just going to cut this in half and then we'll use the dicer again. So take out the stone. Sometimes it's easier to... Uh... Put it up yourself. Well, that wasn't very good. So we'll just pop these on, like that, line them up, and then nice slices of plums. Look, so I'm going to add them to the pan. Look at that. We need two of these. So again, just cut these, because they've been in the fridge, you see, go around it. Get rid of that. And then we'll use the dicer again. So already I'm finding uses for it. 
I didn't think I would need. There we go. I'm going to add these to the pan with my chicken. I can't believe how thinly sliced they are though. That's what's so good about it. Right, bring it back down. So in here we've got our chicken and our plums. So lower the heat to medium. Add the plums to the pan with the chicken. Stir fry until the plums start to colour for one to two minutes. Then we're going to stir in the garlic and easy ginger along with half the spring onions. That smells so good. Now we're going to get the garlic. Here's the garlic. Actually, I think I've got one already open. Oh, no, I haven't. I'm going to cut the end off because... Right, so we're going to add our garlic into the pan. Okay, in goes the garlic. Hope you can see that alright guys. I'm going to turn the pan down a little bit because the uh, chicken's starting to brown but it smells so good. Okay, now I'm going to add in some ginger. So we can add some ginger. So squeeze ginger, not too much. Mix that in. Oh wow, this smells so good. And then we're going to add some spring onions. So some of them spring onions, half the spring onions. Oops. And that goes. And you'll see that everyone. And a few more. And then we're going to add some chilli powder. So if you've got chilies, use chilies, but I'm going to add a bit of chilli powder to the dish. There we go. Can you see that, Melanie? Watching. A lovely coat on it and a few more spring onions for this. Hmm. Now I'm going to need to make some ketchup money so let me just grab a small pan If you don't have a pan, you can just use a saucepan. So I'm just going to pop this on. So I'm going to pop this sauce on here. What we're going to do is add some uh, soy sauce. You want to get some soy sauce, put it into a, a saucepan and add quite a bit of soy sauce to you. Just so you cover it over. Then we're going to add some brown sugar. You want two tablespoons of brown sugar. So 
So two tablespoons going in with your soy sauce. Now because we're making this with hoisin sauce, you don't actually need any extra. I would add hoisin sauce to this. But you can add as much soy sauce as you want, depending on how how much liquid you want. Yeah, how much. So I've turned this pan down. So just put your brown sugar into the soy sauce. That's all ketchup mayonnaise is. You can add a bit of ginger to that, but we've already got ginger in the dish. So if you have, if you're making ketchup mayonnaise, I would add ginger, hoisin sauce, sugar, and soy sauce. Okay, I'm gonna add a bit more soy sauce to this. And make sure you use light soy sauce. Okay. Thanks, Melanie. And what we want to do is we want to allow this this liquid to just start to simmer. Once it starts to simmer, that's that that means it's done. You can put it back on the hob, but don't let it overboil. Okay. So we're now going to add in the bok choy. So we've got our nicely diced bok choy with leaves going in there as well. But look how thin they are, look. So we're mixing everything in together. And if you think they're slightly big, you can just put it back through the dicer again if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. So remember guys, this is a HelloFresh recipe. If you want any discount, link's in the bio. Now if you want to, you can add a little bit of this. You know the little cooking spray? You just put it over. I'll turn the pan back up a little bit. Just so it doesn't burn. Hi Brenda, good to see you. I've not seen you for ages. Did you see what I got? <laughs> Pampershire. We've got the we've got the quick slice. And for Halloween I'm doing this. We're doing um biscuit beast mini cupcakes and some uh, spooky donuts. Spooky donuts. So, I have not checked the box yet though, hopefully everything is inside. But. So this is gonna this is starting to starting to um, heat up. Yeah, I got it in a charity shop, like what you guys call in the States a thrift shop. It was only two pounds. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it. I was like, what? I couldn't believe it was there in front of me. I was, I was, I thought I was dreaming. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Okay, so we've added the bok choy. Now we're going to add in some hoisin sauce. So we're not finished yet. So we're going to add some hoisin sauce. I love hoisin sauce, so add this to the dish. You want to sort of cover it over. This smells amazing already. So, so I've added the uh, hoisin sauce in. Look at that guys, what do we think? Now this is starting to bubble over, so uh, hoisin sauce and we want a tablespoon of water per person. So you want two tablespoons if it's for two. Let's just add some water. That's one, that's two, Can give that a stir, and we're going to add this in, I'll just turn this off, because it's starting to boil, so add in your ketchup mayonnaise, and that goes, 
it wants to be quite sticky, but it will it will come together anyway within with, with all the food. Turn that off. Yep. So you want to let that boil down and look at all that flavour. Look, most of that is soy sauce, but it does have brown sugar in. You could probably just add it to the dish, and you don't don't need to do it separately. But I like to do mine separately because you want a sort of sticky sauce. Most most people would add it to the dish, so if you wanted to do that, that's fine. Okay, and then what we're going to do next is add in some noodles. So I've just got pack noodles. So I'm just going to let that simmer down for a little bit. We're nearly finished. We're nearly finished. Oh, Brent, that sounds awful. It's probably just the, it must be like the, the change of weather, I, I bet. Hopefully you get better soon. I had a bit of a, not a sore throat, but I had a bit of a runny nose this morning, but and I was sneezing a, a little bit, but I did a test and I'm, I'm negative, so. Look at this, guys. What do we think? It's awful, isn't it? But kind of in a kind of way that was getting sick shows that we're human. Because you'd be slightly worried to think if I wasn't, if I didn't get sick, you know, when something comes around, at least you know your body's fought, fought it off. So I might have put a little bit too much soy sauce in, but last time I didn't have as much soy sauce, so you don't always have to have all the liquid, all this sauce in there, but. It will get absorbed by the, the veggies and stuff, so it is starting to come together now, so and plus the noodles are gonna these noodles here, but let's pop these noodles in. So add the noodles. And we just break them up or just like that. I've not made this in ages, but it's one of my favourite recipes to make. Yeah, that sauce, the noodle will absorb the sauce. There we go. So it doesn't take long for noodles, just two minutes or so. And then we need to divide the chicken and plum noodles between your bowls scatter over some peanuts and the remaining spring onion so there we have it guys this is probably one of the i think it's quite a healthy recipe look at how it's coming in together look at that guys let me just zoom in what do we think it looks so good it looks so good oh thank you brenda for the uh is that the yummy award thank you so much let's mix all that in Oh, I can smell it. It's so good. I'm just going to give it two more minutes. I'm going to get some bowls. I'm going to actually, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do mine. I normally do for enough for two, but I'm, I need, to, I want to leave the rest in the pan because I want all the juices to soak up in the noodles. So, but I'm, I'm still going to do mine. So. So this, this is an easy recipe that anyone can make. As I say, you don't have to go out and buy all these ingredients. There are different ways, you know, use chicken thighs instead of chicken breasts, which might make it cheaper. Just get some pak choy. There are other alternatives as well. So let's have a look. Sometimes it tells me other things. Um, oh, it didn't tell me that this time, but. So all you need is egg noodles, or well, not egg noodles, you can use normal noodle, diced chicken, plums, bok choy, spring onions or scallions, red chilies or chilli powder, garlic clove, ginger, hoisin sauce and then that ketchup mayonnaise and some peanuts. So we'll turn this down, turn this off now and uh, 
spin you around. Go for it. Do it, Brenda. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Send me a picture when you've done it. I'm going to grab a spoon and should use my spaghetti uh, spoon, really, shouldn't I? There's the noodles. Chicken and plums. And it's just something a little bit different, but it's healthy. Now, I did put a post up on Haps, I've not checked it yet, asking what your favourite food is. So if you've got a favourite food and you want me to cook it, just let me know and uh, I shall see what I can do. Right, we're going to finish this off with some noodles, not noodles, some uh, peanuts. I've got some salted peanuts here. So we're going to put some peanuts on there, just like that. And then we're going to add some spring onion, just on the top. And that, guys, is the chicken and plum noodle stir fry so thank you all for coming in i shall be back on tomorrow and uh, in fact we'll do a quiz tomorrow we're going to do a quiz tomorrow so please join if you can join me for that and um i shall be back on tomorrow night and i don't know what i'm making yet but i will let you all know so make sure you check my uh, post let me have a little taste of this because you probably all wonder actually do i actually eat the food when i've finished and is there a favourite of mine? Do I eat? You might think, oh, I've ate something, but I didn't like it. But it might look good. So let's let's have a little taste. A little bit of plum in there, noodles. Let's have a little taste. Let me lift it up so you can see. I've got my hat on as well. There we go. Hello, everyone. So let's have a little taste then. It's very hot. Oh, it smells nice. Oh my god, that is good. Oh. <laughs> it's not as spicy either, you know, with the chilli. So a bit of, that's the plum. Oh my god. That is so nice. Right guys, I'm gonna head I'm gonna head off now. So thanks for coming in. I shall see you tomorrow. So take care everyone. I'll leave you with that view.